Grayson, say hi. Hi. What are you doing? Watching episodes on my Minecraft video. Gray likes to go on YouTube Kids on his iPad time and watch people build stuff on Minecraft. I guess there's worse things he could be watching, so whatever. Grayson, yes. did you have preschool today? Yes, I did have preschool. What? Did you have preschool today? No. No, we didn't have preschool. Why didn't you have preschool today? Because I had to go to a library with you and Porter. You did go to the library with me and Porter, but why didn't you go to school today? Because I missed my teacher. <laughs> Good morning, or actually it's afternoon, it's 1.30, so good afternoon, you guys. Grayson, <laughs> I think you forgot, he's on spring break this week, so he doesn't have school this whole week. Pray for me. <laughs> I hope I survive. This is kind of like a snapshot of how the summer's going to be, minus a baby, and yeah, it's just the days are long, so this is Monday, this is the first day. So, yeah, he's off this whole week. All the school districts where we live have, have it on different weeks. My sister teaches in a different school district. They had spring break last week. Grayson has it this week. I think other schools have it next week and around Easter. So it's just all over the place. So with uh, Grayson being off, I decided to keep um, Porter and I's normal Monday routine the same and just bring Grayson along with us. So every Monday, I've talked about this before, I take porter to the library and we do story time they offer it on mondays at 9 30 and then we usually stay for an hour or so afterwards and we would play with toys and they have like little state learning stations and read books and whatever so we brought grayson with us i should have recorded a little bit but i was kind of like stressed keeping track of two kids at the same time going every which way we did story time the letter of the week was w and Grayson loved it. He's always asking me to take him to the library on Mondays when we go. And so this time he actually had the opportunity to go. And he loved it. He loves story time. He danced with the songs. They do a puppet show. He loved that. Porter loved like showing him around the library and all the different things. And then we played. We stayed there for like two hours. It was long. But they just kept wanting to play like they had alphabet activities and they have like this little school bus porter always likes to drive and they have like a train table and so it was a great time good to get us out of the house doing something learning ish <laughs> for a day so that was really fun and passed the morning really easily so now porter's taking a nap grayson's doing ipad and i'm just uploading videos to youtube for my channel, but I'm about to go soon. I have my 37, I think that's what it is, yeah, 37 week doctor appointment today. I'm going weekly to the doctor, so every Monday I go now, and we're gonna see if I've dilated anymore, how, what progress I've been making. I've been doing all that I can to progress my body, bouncing on an exercise ball, I've been drinking raspberry leaf tea, eating my dates, walking, whatever I can do, I've been trying to do. So I'm hoping that I'm more than a fingertip dilated today, but knowing my body, it just might not be possible. So I'm hoping I'm further dilated. I'm hoping maybe I could get a membrane sweep. Um, I am going to confirm that I'm still allowed to like electively get induced at 39 weeks, which would be next Wednesday, which is coming up really fast. So we will see how that goes today. I'm hoping for good news. So I'll keep you updated after the appointment. But other than that, we're just kind of chilling here. Porter is in his new room. We did move him over, as you saw um, in a previous vlog, he is adjusting to his new bed. The first night he woke up at 3 a.m. and was crying and I had to lay with him. Last night, I think he slept through the night. He didn't wake me up. I didn't hear him crying. So I think he's getting more used to it. Nap time, he does seem to, like I'll put him down and then he'll get up and like cause chaos, which I remember Grayson doing that 
when we first transitioned him over. In fact, he would, for like months, he would end up just like passing out on the floor and sleeping on the floor for months. Porter actually does sleep in his bed, so I don't hear him anymore, so I think he has fallen asleep. He has been a little more grumpy and like definitely showing his two-year-oldness. Um, because I think he's just not getting as much sleep as he used to. So we're just figuring that out. I'm sure like the recent daylight savings hasn't helped either. So we're just trying to support Porter how we can. <laughs> but it's good. I feel super prepared for baby. We've basically got everything set up put in its place the only thing I'm debating is if I should get more newborn diapers I just don't know how many we're gonna go through I don't know how little she's gonna be but other than that I'm feeling really prepared really ready for her to come so I'm hoping this doctor's appointment goes well but other than that I think we're just gonna like hang out here Anthony is working because it's Monday obviously um, maybe we'll play in the basement maybe watch a show I don't know it's cold it's slowly warming up today is the first day of spring doesn't feel like spring still feels like winter this past weekend was like the coldest we've had in a long time and so slowly it's supposed to warm up throughout the week but it is supposed to rain a lot so the rain makes me think of spring but not this cold weather so unfortunately we can't really like go outside even though it is sunny but it's just not quite warm enough yet. So definitely doesn't feel like a spring break. Feels like we did it too early. My sister's was last week and it like snowed every day on her spring break. So that definitely didn't feel like spring to her. But it's March in Ohio. What are you going to do? Anyway, I'm just blabbing along. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I will keep you guys updated after my appointment. Hey guys, so I'm back for my doctor's appointment. Probably doesn't really seem like anything has changed because I'm exactly where I was in the previous clip but I did go to my appointment and I am super frustrated uh I feel like every time I go to my appointments I have such high hopes and then I go and then I get so frustrated with how it goes so I went and they were running late my doctor was running late she had surgery at a hospital 20 minutes away so I had to wait 20 minutes for her to come which was fine whatever they took my blood pressure. It was like super low, 102 over 70, which I had to Google, but I guess that's like normal. I just feel like usually I'm in like the 120s or something. So anyway, and then I've gained two pounds, I think, one or two pounds, which is good because I haven't gained weight in like a month. I waited for my doctor. Finally, she came. She measured my belly, said I'm measuring on track, which I always am. Found baby's heartbeat and baby is like 145. So that was good. She checked me and I'm dilated to a one. So, I mean, it's better, it's progress, but it's not, you know, you could be a one for weeks and that means nothing. I mean, same with any dilation, but yeah, it was just discouraging, not very dilated at all. I am only 37 weeks, but I'll be 38 weeks in two days, so. Only dilated to a one. She didn't do a membrane sweep. I should have asked for one. Maybe they won't do it this early. I don't know. She didn't do it. So she asked me, do you want to be induced? And I said, yes, at the earliest time, which I was told 39 weeks, right? And she was like, yes, 39 weeks. And she said, so when is your due date? And I said, April 5th. I feel like I should have lied and said it was earlier. And she said, okay. And I said, so 39 weeks would be next Wednesday, the 29th. And she was like, okay. And then she was like, oh, actually, I'm out next week. She's probably on spring break like everybody else. Grayson's on spring break. Everybody's traveling. So she's out of town all next week. And she was like, so could we just do your induction on your due date on the 5th? And I was like... I really want to get it as early as I can and she was like okay she was like well I can see about getting you on the wait list for next Friday she's like I think that's the earliest I could do um, I guess there's another doctor on cold call which is actually super funny it's the doctor who I had for my first two pregnancies she's on call so she's like let me talk to her and see if she will allow you to 
be on the wait list and possibly be induced and she said now remember with the wait list basically they call you at 9 a.m that day and if they have room for you then they'll tell you when to come in and if they don't then they'll just push you to the next day which would then be the following monday i was like okay i mean that's that's all i can do i mean i can't as much as I want to control everything, I just can't. Yeah, that's kind of where we ended it. And yeah, I was just like kind of muddled in my mind and didn't really understand that she was actually going to be out like all next week because then I went to go make my appointment because I said, do you still want to see me next week? And she said, yes. So then I went to go make my appointment and the front desk person was like, okay, well, she's out all next week. And I was like, oh, right. So I'm meeting with a nurse practitioner next Tuesday. I have never met with a nurse practitioner before, so I don't know if it'll be different, if she'll still check me. Like, I don't know how all that works. So that'll be interesting. And then I guess, I don't know how I'll know if, if I'm gonna be on, put on the wait list for Friday or not. I guess I'll just have to ask at my next appointment on next Tuesday and hopefully she like tells this nurse practitioner like what she found out and if I can be put on the wait list on Friday. I'm really bummed. I was really hoping to be put on the wait list for Wednesday because I really want to have this baby in March and if I was on Wednesday then like even if it got bumped I'd still have Thursday Friday but now being put on the wait list on next Friday it's like I think next Friday is the 31st. So it's like, that's it. That's my one and only shot. Yeah, because Saturday is April 1st. And so it's like, if they're full, then I have to wait until the following Monday. And then it's April. And it is what it is. So I'm really hoping that I can do that. I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm going to know, though. I should have asked more questions. I'm just like very confused. So anyway, bummer news, super disappointed. Basically, I just have to try to make myself go into labor, which I don't I don't have high hopes of doing. So I guess I'll just bounce more on my ball, drink my tea, and try to get things going from here. But my first two pregnancies, I went past my due date. So I feel like if if I did no intervention, I would go past my due date with this pregnancy too. So it's a bummer. I'm I'm super bummed about it, but hopefully next week I'll get better news and hopefully things will turn around, but um, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'm going to get Porter in about 15 minutes from his nap, so I'll pull out the camera um, when we go downstairs and play or something, but yeah, I'm just pretty bummed with how my appointment went, so darn. This is why you have two kids. <laughs> so that you don't have to push. Woo! Good job! You have to pull. Yep, now Porter gets to push and Grayson gets to sit. Turn it around. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Porter goes a little slower. <laughs> <laughs> 